Everybody come back. I got a slight bit problem and I'm hoping y'all can help. What's going on my outdoor crew? How in the world are you doing today? I hope this video finds you well. So I have a slight problem. I've been talking to somebody else about it and um, well he admits I probably need some help but I think it's no big deal you know not really a big deal at all my wife probably says it's different but I, I think it's no problem I keep buying cameras <laughs> yeah I keep buying cameras that's my problem so earlier in the year I bought this 35 millimeter Minolta camera right here. There's a backstory to this camera and the reason why I bought it. Um, I will put that up there and you can go rewatch it. Um, but it's a really cool camera. I've shot some stuff with it. Intend on shooting some more stuff with it eventually. Just haven't done it here of late. Been doing other things. Um, but you know as far as the technology of this camera from when it came out you know 35 millimeter with uh adjustable lens and of course autofocus yeah it has autofocus of course that was starting to be a big thing on cameras you know by even back then to have autofocus um but minolta was known for having some really good glass really well made lenses sharp and um just just overall really awesome lenses um inner company that was well it's actually their first dslr actually it was a slr is what they called it was no i'm not giving up my canons sony sony come out with their first digital camera and that's what this is it's an a100 or alpha a100 now what makes it so special is if you'll notice this camera uses minolta lenses because at that time conic minota minolta uh was getting ready to get out of the camera business altogether sony was looking to get more into the digital world and needed a lens mount they really liked what Minolta was doing with their lens mounts and bought the camera company itself. So enter in 2006, 7, I'll put it down below right here. They brought out their first SLR, digital camera, with Minolta's A mount or AF mount on their camera. Now, Sony also made their own lenses for this camera, but heavily relied on Minolta's lenses. Now this, I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of this thing. Now from what I understand from what I've read, the sensor in this camera is one of the best that was done at that time. Uh, this camera is a thousand dollars when it came out, well over a thousand dollars when it came out. What does it do that this camera doesn't do? Well, there's there's a few things that you know the new technology has going for it, uh, eye recognition, you know that kind of stuff, 4K, all that. This can't even shoot video. It's only a photography camera, whereas my Canon shoots video and photography. But I've gotten really engrossed in photography as of late using this camera and reading all the stuff i read about this camera how it still holds up in 2022 so i took i've been i've only had it for a handful of days and i've been taking a bunch of camera a bunch of pictures with it matter of fact i've got my leash on it right now i don't i ain't even been carrying this camera so i've just been taking this one and shooting some pictures and at the end of this video I will lay those pictures in with a little bit of music and everything. But I mean, this thing has all the adjustability as far as taking pictures that this one does. 
It even has auto um, autofocus just like a 35 millimeter or this one does. Now, granted, with this camera, the autofocus is very quiet. You don't hardly hear it at all. You won't hear it in the video. This one, you should be able to hear that, is noisy, but it does what it has to do. Now, the other thing you don't have with this one is you have a viewfinder, but you can't really get your video or your picture on the screen until after you've taken the picture, which I will show you right now. There's how it looks. Now, this thing's only like 2.5 inches big. It's a small screen. And you can look at the pictures and go, okay, that's probably pretty decent and everything, but it doesn't um, really translate well onto the screen on the back. But once you get it into uh, post and start editing it, that is another thing I have found. Once you get the pictures in, in uh, post, and if you do a lot of photography, you know the histogram, you know what I'm referring to, that's your color hump. Where is it in the, in the, uh, on this picture? And all of these so far have been dead smack in the center which is kind of odd, I mean, kind of rare because even on this camera, I'll get them a little bit over to the left or a little bit over to the right because the lighting was way right off or, you know, something. This thing manages to go in and, man, it, it knocks that histogram right in the middle every other, sh I mean, every shot, every couple of shots. I might have one that, well, it's off. But anyways, um... I'm having a lot of fun with this thing. I'm going to try to sneak out of here this weekend a little bit and shoot another video using this camera and another camera. But I, I just, I'm really, I'm really impressed with a 16 year old camera, the pictures I'm getting out of this thing. I'm just blown away. And look how small this lens is compared to my hand. I mean, it's tiny, but good glass will get you good results good um, chip in the camera will get you good results. And at the time, this was considered one of the best chips on the market as far as in your camera. That's the CCD chip. It was awesome. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I'm going to leave those pictures here at the end uh, for y'all to view. I've actually got a couple in the camera I've got to edit to put up there. Um, but yeah, I'm having fun with this thing. I love my photography. And this just opened up some Pandora's box, I guess. But yep, I bought another camera. Bought a Sony. Not a Canon. Bought a Sony. Does not mean I'm converting to Sony. Gonna be keeping my Canon. All right, guys, that's it. Be prepared to see you on the next one. Bye.